Welcome to Grammar and Punctuation. Click on the pencil if you are new, or if you've been here before, click on your name in the list. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bear's Let's Play. I'm Kristen and we're here with another Eureka Multimedia game, Grammar and Punctuation. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box to see other games from this company. I have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow, a streaming channel, and a Discord with the kindest community on the internet. Use the invite link in the description box to join us. But yes, let's get started. Enjoy. Click where you would like to begin. A good place to begin is to start at Fun Facts. Let's learn our grammar and punctuation. Welcome to Fun Facts, where we will learn sentence structure, grammar and punctuation. Click on the flashing rock to begin. Or click on a topic from the menu. Let's go. Sentence construction. A sentence is a group of words that make sense. It must contain a verb, begin with a capital letter, and finish with a full stop, question mark, or exclamation mark. An example of a proper sentence is, she wrote a letter. An example of an improper sentence is, koala's car went too. Great. Who am I? Complete the definition. Sentence. Word. Capital. A sentence is a group of words that make sense. It must contain a verb and begin with a capital letter. Look at each group of words and click on the ones which are proper sentences. When you are done, just check your answers by clicking on the smiley face below. I went to a party. I am very clever. I love to eat ice cream. I love my... Click to check your answer. Uh-uh. He gave him. Click... Uh-uh. I went to a party, looked at me. I am very clever. The zoo went. I love to eat ice cream. Birds fly. He gave him. I love my cat. You're the best. Punctuation. Capital letter. Always at the beginning of a sentence. It also includes his name. name. Places, days and months. Full stop. Always at the end of a sentence if it is a statement. Comma. A little mark used in a sentence that tells the reader to pause. Inverted commas. Little marks put around words actually spoken by someone in a sentence. Apostrophe. Is a little mark which is similar to a comma but it is used higher up. It shows that one or more letters have been left out or that someone owns something. Question mark is used at the end of a sentence instead of a full stop when a question is asked. Exclamation mark used after a word or at the end of a spoken sentence to show feeling. Good work. Who am I? OK, kids, see if you can find all the punctuation marks. Just click on all the areas you think contain these marks, then click on the smiley face to check your answers. Matt knew more about goannas than anyone. That's why they called him the Goanna Kid. He was, he was the most popular kid in school. Let's face it, they said. Goannas are cool, and Matt is double cool. Do you think goannas are cool?
do it. Tricky words. Rules for is and are. Is. We use is when we are talking about one person or thing. Are. We use are when we are talking about more than one person or thing. Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. The koala is sitting on a branch. The koalas are sitting on a branch. Wow! Who am I? Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Ah, is. There is one koala in the tree. There are two koalas in the tree. Ah, the koalas are climbing the tree. Is. The koala is climbing the tree. Excellent. Tricky words. Rules for was and were. Was. We use was when we are talking about one person or thing in the past. Were. We use were when we are talking about more than one person or thing in the past. Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Was. The dingo was chasing a rabbit. The dingoes were chasing a rabbit. Well done. Who am I? Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Were. The rabbits were hiding in their burrow. Was. The rabbit was hiding in its burrow. The dingo was asleep. Were. The dingoes were asleep. Good work. Tricky words. Rules for its and its. Its. We use its when we are talking about some something belonging to a person or thing. It apostrophe s. We use it apostrophe s when we are shortening the words it is. Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. A dog looks after its puppies. I hope it's a sunny day. Excellent. Who am I? Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. It's. It's a lovely day outside. It's. The dog loves its food. It's. It's. Shut the door before it's too late. It's. The dog likes to chew its toy. You're the best. Tricky words. Rules for two, two and two. Two. We use two when we are talking about a cup couple or a pair of things. Two. We use two when we are describing something excessive or adding to a person or thing. Two. We use two when we are joining words together. Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. There are two cars. The sun is too hot. 
We are going to the zoo. Yeah. Who am I? Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Two. There were two cats in my yard. Two. The music is too loud. I am going to my friend's house. Well done. Tricky words. Rules for there, there and there. There. We use there when we are talking about a place or spot. There. We use there when we are talking about something belonging to a person. They apostrophe re. We use they apostrophe re when we are shortening the words they are. Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. The birds flew over there. There. It is their house. They're going on a holiday. Yay! <laughs> Who am I? Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. There. Is that Simon over there? They're going for a bike ride. There, the birds chased the cat away from their nest. You're so good. Tricky words. Rules for here and here. Here, we use here when we are talking about a place or spot close by. Here. We use here when we listen to a sound. Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Here. Roger was able to hear the noise. Please look over here. Good work. Who am I? Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Here. My friend said he would meet me here. Here, I could not hear the music. Here, the movie was so loud I did not hear Mum calling. Here, he made his dog come over here. You're so good. Tricky words. Rules for either or and neither nor. When we use either in a sentence. We should also use or. When we use neither in a sentence, we should also use nor. Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Ni neither. It was neither Sandy nor Bob. It was either Fred or Paul. You're the best. Who am I? Choose the correct word below to complete each sentence. Neither. It was neither John nor Mary. Nor. It is neither John nor Jane who is guilty. Either. It was either the dog or the cat. Or. It was either Sam or Kelly. Excellent. Nouns. A noun is a naming word. It is used to name plants, animals, and things we make or use. Click on the words that are names of food. Cake. You're the best. Click on the words that are names of animals. Koala. Great. Click on the words that are names of things we wear. Shoe. Who am I? Complete the definition. Noun. A noun is a naming word. Click on the correct insect, drink, and fruit nouns, and when you are done, just click on the smiley face to check your answers. Fish. Bee. Fly. Fish. Fly. Water. Rock. Milk.
apple, plum. Wow. Collective nouns. Collective nouns are nouns used to name a collection of pe people or things. Choose the correct collective noun that completes the sentence. Bunch. Bunch. I picked a bunch of flowers. Herd. A herd of cattle. Forest. We walked through a forest full of gum trees. Good job. Who am I? Complete the definition. Collective nouns are words used to name a group of things or people. Choose the correct collective noun that completes the sentence. Bunch I ate a whole bunch of grapes. Fl swarm a swarm of flies flew past. Litter the dingo had a litter of puppies. Excellent. Proper nouns. Proper nouns are words used to name people, places or things. These always begin with a capital letter. Choose the proper noun to complete the sentence. Sydney. I live in Sydney. Alex. My brother's name is Alex. Monday. Monday is a day of the week. Well done. Who am I? Complete the definition. Na name. Places. Proper. Big. Capital. Big. Words used to name people, places or things are known as proper nouns. These always begin with a capital letter. Click on the words in each group that should begin with a capital letter. When you are done, just click on the smiley face to check your answers. Monday Monday Melbourne, Australia, June, D Daniel, Monday, Farm, Click, Well done. Singular and plural nouns. A singular noun is the name of a single thing. A plural noun is the name of more than one thing. Match the singular noun to its plural noun, ending with S. Fan. Rat. Rats. Rat. Rats. Jugs. Jug. Jugs. Star, stars, fans, fan, fans, ball, balls, shoe, shoes, cup, cups. Fantastic! Match the plural nouns with an ES ending. For singular nouns ending in S, SH, CH, or X. Fox, foxes. Fish, class, classes, brushes, tosses, box, boxes, matches. Well done. Match the plural nouns with an ES ending for singular nouns ending in F, F, E, and Y if the letter before Y is a consonant. Knife, knives, city, cities. Fly, half, half.
Halves. Loaves. Wife. Wives. Wolves. You're the best. Who am I? Complete the definition. Singular. Plural. A singular noun is the name of a single thing. A plural noun is the name of more than one thing. Drag and drop the singular nouns to the box under their plurals. Mouse. Goose. Geese. Mouse. Mice. Men. Excellent. Teeth, woman. Women, child. Children. Excellent. Toes, throw. Throws. Calves. Unreal. Spies, hoof. Hooves. Feet. You're the best. Personal pronouns. Personal pronouns are words used instead of your name or someone else's name. Choose the correct personal pronoun to complete the sentence. We. Frank knows that we are best friends. I. Alex and I are on the same team. You and I. You and I are the same age. Who am I? Complete the definition. Personal. Na name. Personal pronouns are words used instead of your name or someone else's name. Choose the correct personal pronoun to complete the sentence. I. He. His. Me. I asked Sam if he saw me open his front door. You. Your. Our. You and your brother broke our bike. My. I. Her. My sister and I read her friend's book. Awesome. Relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are words such as who, which, which, or that, and are used in a sentence after a noun or pronoun. Relative pronouns can also be used as joiners for sentences. Who refers to a person. To refer to a thing, we use relative pronouns of that or which. Choose the correct relative pronoun to complete each sentence. Who. The hero who caught the robber was given a reward. That. Which. Try again. I passed the bike that had crashed into the tree, which they saw the car, which was in an accident. Yay! <laughs> Who am I? Complete the definition. Who? Which? Try again. Which? That? Pro Relative pronouns are words such as who, which, or that, and are used in a sentence after a noun or pronoun. Relative pronouns create sentences by joining groups of words. Choose the correct groups of words to complete the sentences. I have just read a book. It was interesting. I have just read a book that was interesting. My sister is one year My sister who is one year old only crawls has sharp teeth 
A crocodile is an animal which has sharp teeth. Oh, really? Adjectives. Adjectives are words that describe or tell us more about great people or things. Nouns. Choose the most correct adjective to complete the sentence. New. I have new shoes. Long. The long spear. Two. One. There was one cow in the paddock. Awesome. Who am I? Complete the definition. Describe. Tell us. Noun. Adjectives are words that describe or tell us more about nouns. Choose the most correct adjective to complete the sentence. V very. Snakes can slither very fast. T the kangaroo hopped two meters high. My boomerang is better than your boomerang. Excellent. Simple verbs. Verbs are words that tell us what people, people animal, animals, or things are doing. doing. They are also called doing, being, and having words. Choose the correct verb to complete the sentence. The emu is running. Hopping. Uh -uh. Awake. The lizard is awake. Have. We have a boomerang. Fantastic! Who am I? Complete the definition. D Simple. Verb. Uh-uh. Having. Uh-uh. Doing. Simple verbs are also called doing, being, and having words. Choose the correct verb to complete the sentence. Hungry. Asleep. The cat is asleep. Koala is pushing his car. Has. The dog has fleas. Great. Compound verbs. Compound verbs are verbs that consist of two or three parts within a sentence. Place the verbs in their correct locations. Has. She has never seen a lizard. Has. Matt has had lunch. Running. The emu is running away. Wow. Who am I? Complete the definition. Compound two. Compound verbs are verbs that consist of two or three parts within a sentence. Click on the compound verbs within each sentence. When you are done, just click on the smiley face to check your answers. Try again. Did you see a live crocodile? I have always wanted a boomerang. I have always fished with a fishing rod. Tense of verbs. A verb has three tenses, present, past, and future. The present is now. The past happened some time ago. The future will happen later. Click on the future tense of play. Will play. This is good. Click on the present tense of swim. 
log in. Swimming. Fantastic. Click on the past tense of run. Ran. Excellent. Who am I? Complete the definition. Verb. Tenses. A verb has three tenses. Past, present and future. Choose the correct tense of the verb to complete the sentence. Ran. I ran yesterday. Am run. I am running now. Will. I will run tomorrow. Excellent. Adverbs. Adverbs are words that tell us more about what a verb or noun is doing or being. Choose the most correct adverb to complete the sentence. Slowly. Koalas climb trees slowly. Quick. The kangaroo hopped quickly. We play soccer outside. Awesome. Who am I? Complete the definition. Adverb. Be. More. Doing. Being. Adverbs are words that tell us more about what a verb or noun is doing or being. Choose the most correct adverb to complete the sentence. Brightly. The sun was shining brightly. Quickly. I can throw a ball quickly. No. No. A snake has no legs. We are done. Prepositions. A preposition is a word that tells you the place or position of a person or thing. Choose the most correct preposition to complete the sentence. In. The bird is flying in the sky. Over. The kangaroo jumped over the fence. But we walked between the trees. You're the best. Who am I? Complete the definition. Preposition. Place. A preposition is a word that tells you the place or position of a person or thing. Choose the most correct preposition to complete the sentence. Inside. The baby wallaby sleeps inside his mother's pouch. From. The wombat drank from the pond. Against. I play tennis against my friends. We are done. Conjunctions. Conjunctions are words that join words or sentences to. Choose the most correct conjunction to complete the sentence. The dingo and the crocodile had a fight. Why? But. My brother was fast, but he did not win the race. I like to play both cricket and soccer. Fantastic! Who am I? Complete the definition. Conjunctions. Join. Conjunctions are words that join words or sentences together. Choose the most correct conjunction to complete the sentence. Yet. Our team played well, yet we still lost. Or. I will ride my bike in the park or on the track. Although. Although it was raining, we still played netball. Excellent. Good work. You have earned a certificate. Click on the koala to print your certificate. Or click on the flashing rock to play again. Back to fun facts. Main menu. Click where you would like to begin. Word find game. Word find game. Click and drag to circle the hidden words.
Click on the flashing rock to begin. Let's play. Verb. Black. Tall. Mind. Stamps. Hers. Have. This is fun. On to you water while room along there. Real cool. From. Adverb. Eating. Hard. Below. Noun. But. Beautiful. Five. Over. Loud. Car. Green. Rope. Upon. All right. Peter. Who? Awake. Which? Ow. That. Eight. Real cool. Eat. 
Emu Slowly With Foxes They Camel Him Cool. Easily. Easy. Fin. Wet When And I like it Dog Flying Short Run Hot Table Faster School Carrot Loudly Sharp Soft Your Bees Level two inside cold Australia cage behind. Monday Potato Good work Owls Sleeping Kittens was tightly among busily. Easter Flower Before Because Sam 
plural. Right. Computer. Elephant. Nicole. Wide. Ah. Outside. Into. Where to go? Rapidly. Unless. Steep. Wildly. Common. House. Tense. Good work. Sydney. Happily. Fred. Round. Better. Rudely. Dark. All right. London. Tricky. Bike. Across. Shoe. Words. Beautiful. Position. Rabbit. Here. She. Home.
order. Two. During. Boxes. Through. Jokingly. Eggs. Running. Swims. I like it. Level three. Main menu. Click where you would like to begin. Billabong dash. <laughs> Answer the questions correctly to move ahead. If you are wrong, the lizard will move instead. Click on this button if you like to score a how-to play guide that will tell you more. First to the build bong will win, so click on the flashing rock to begin. Let's play. You are spun A1. Click on the proper noun. Mum, you're so good. Click on the adverb. Twitter. Hey, you too. Click on the conjunction. But Excellent. Get back to the start. A one. Click on the conjunction. Unless you're the best. You'll spawn A one. Click on the noun. Good work. <laughs> Only one. Click on the noun. Come you're the best. <laughs> wow, three. Click on the conjunction. Win. Wow. <laughs> oh no, a warning zone. Go back three spaces. A2. Click on the adjective. Green. Right. Spawn A1. Click on the adjective. Camel, milk, camel, camel, shuffle, shuffle, camel. Uh-uh. 
Click on the preposition. Running loud among. Good work. A3. Click on the conjunction. Because you're the best. I won. Click on the noun. What school? Hey. <laughs> A3. Click on the adjective. Oh, we, uh -uh. Well, three. Click on the personal pronoun. Mine, but B. Uh -uh. A3. Click on a relative pronoun. Uh -uh. Hey, a two. Click on the verb. Oh wait, awesome. Click on the preposition. Beside. You're the best. Hey, you too. Click on the adverb. Choose the excellent. A2. Click on the verb. Whilst. Soft. Whilst. Uh uh. Hey, a two. Click on the proper noun. Australia. You're so good. Click on the koala to print your certificate. Click on the flashing rock to start again. Well, we won the race. I tried to purposely miss some questions so I wouldn't hit the danger zones because that was just going to set us back. So I kept spinning until I got the number I wanted. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And of course, subscribe. Don't forget the playlist to see all the other Eureka multimedia games on this channel. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.